All right, you guys, we're sitting here with the cast of No Good Nick. How's it going, guys? It's, it's going great. pretty good. Yeah. Thank yeah. yeah. you. These are your wardrobe outfits, right? Yes. yes. All pressed they and are. Yeah. Yes. yes. You like it? Is this your personal style in real life, or is this totally different than what you normally wear? This is totally different for me. Molly's clothes are super cute, but for Lauren, they're on the preppier side. I actually dress exactly like Nick. <laughs> My mom took one of Nick's clothes, but we brought it back, of course, but because we thought it was mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just nothing like this. <laughs> I have, uh, yes, I, I'm, I'm more of the uh, black jeans, black Converse, black band t-shirt style. Like Don't really wear anything other than that uniform. We are here in the Thompson family kitchen. This is the table that we usually eat breakfast at. Other stuff like that, you know, maybe sometimes an occasional lunch or dinner. This is our kitchen island area, a uh, little bar area for prime dining experience when our mom, Liz, who's a professional chef, makes some amazing foods. Sienna and I have a fun fact about this kitchen area. We love tasting the salts. What's your favorite part about being on the show? People that we work with. Yeah. These two, Sean and Melissa, that's what, for me, makes it so amazing. That's like the first thing that comes to mind. We all clicked so easily and we like, I knew that it was gonna be something so special when I met them in the chemistry read and Oh, I knew we you before that. Oh, stop it. Well, yeah. yes, I know that. But I mean, like, just like together, um, I think we all work so well together and like, it truly feels like a family. Like, mm. everything is so lighthearted and like, we laugh on set a lot and then we're very professional. Like, there's everyone, the casting crew is just, works well together. This is the Thompson fridge. Welcome. We have many plastic items. Plastic eggs. <laughs> plastic eggs. Plastic <laughs> eggs. They're fake eggs, everybody. <laughs> Netflix can do anything. A lot of the cast, when they come down to like have a cross from like the stairs, they grab a water bottle. We always grab this water bottle. No one knows why. What is it like to be on a multi-cam show? I see there's stands back there. I see a lot of different cameras. What is that like? Can you explain that to me? Where a single cam, they go from one angle, you film that, and then they go to the next, and you film that in the next angle, but it's the same scene. We're filming every single angle all at once, so I think you get it done quicker, but it's just, it's so like light and fun and like there's lots of laughter and I, I think being on a multicam like dramedy, which is like what we're doing, is is awesome. I'm really, really grateful. This is our dining room. You will see a very emotional scene in the end of the first episode. So this is where we have fancy dinners. Um, not too much to say. We got some nice china back there. Now, who would you say is the biggest goofball on set? Who's always making the jokes? We're all very, we're all very goofy in our own ways. But I'd say that if there was one person who'd be like the class clown of our cast, it would probably be Sean. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Our sets are actually not very traditional multicam sets. So usually a multi-camera set wouldn't have. Uh, like this where there's not much space to get different camera angles because this is a very small space um, And so we kind of uh, have a little bit of a hybrid and a little unconditional set that Allows for us to do some really cool things. This is the atrium or kind of also uh, Liz our mother's garden where she is growing some beautiful plants It's um, Molly's job, it's Molly's oh, job to water the plants, but she never really does so Look at them thriving. Thriving <laughs> plants. Just thriving. Since this is a Netflix show, would you say this is a binge-worthy show? Oh yes. Absolutely. Yes. There is. It's definitely. It's like as soon as you think that you know what's gonna happen and everything is like set, you're like, oh no, that character character is gonna do that, or that's yeah. how it's gonna end. New information is introduced and like everything changes. Welcome to the Thompson House living room. Over here we have a lot of Thompson family talks where we talk about really like dramatic things a lot or poker. All throughout the house, not just in the living room, but we have baby photos. Baby. There is a picture of me in a boxcar that looks to be about five years old. So obviously Nick is kind of conning the family a little bit, right, in this show. So what would people be surprised to know about you guys in real life? Can I do Kalama? Yeah. Oh, good, okay. Uh, his favorite band is Every Time I Die. And if you see Kalama wearing a shirt that's not black, you should ask him how he's doing because something's wrong. Something's most definitely wrong. <laughs> Lauren runs almost entirely on carrots. <laughs> that's very good. I do. She eats so many carrots. <laughs> Sienna is super healthy and she could eat kale oh for breakfast, God. lunch, dinner, and enjoy it. And um, 
She is. She does not like the color pink at all. <laughs> and that used to be my favorite color, but I I can't do it. Over it. And she's an amazing singer, but doesn't choose to admit no. it. <laughs> this was a blast. It was awesome being able to show you the Thompson family household. I think we all had a lot of fun. Yes. Thank you so much, Young Hollywood. Make sure to watch No, no Good, Good Nick. Nick.